Alright guys Let's see how we can use Take yourself in Studio One That's something every beat maker should know how to do uh, We're gonna use Kilohertz tape stub that is free Let me remove this So we did it from the start So we're gonna place it to our master We're gonna click it once And then Right click play And click here So I usually do that at the end of the last bar so let me create some points here um, so I would never start it right away I would go from here or dead center so let's start from here see how it sounds <laughs> It's too fast, we can do it faster if we want But I like it slower, around here And let's actually try from center And what, what else we can do, we can use a curve here Sounds better. Um, next thing you'll notice is that you'll note here the kick of the next bar. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the start time and drag this down to zero. And again, we gotta do something else. I'm gonna press N and move this just a little bit. I think it's fine now. Yeah, it's fine. So yeah, that's how you use tape stop in Studio One. The same way you can do a tape start if you want. Um, so yeah, I hope this was helpful and I'm gonna see you soon. Cheers.